I'm Nick from Go, and I'm going to show you how to pull apart your Graco Endurance Pump suited for your 190pc all the way up to your 595pc. Whether you're stuck on site and you just need to pull it apart and get it going again, or whether you're just working on it at home, just trying to get it good for the next week. Let's get started. So for my first step, I'm using just a small hammer and a small hole punch. I'm just going to knock off this locking ring, spin it off, lean the machine back. Sometimes it needs a bit of a tap get it started and then same tools next step we're just going to knock off the lower housing it's just a light tap to loosen it and then spin it off with your hand now that we've got the lower housing off we're just going to tip it upside down and tap it out with the pin punch and hammer. Make sure you get that seat, the ball, and the cage. Inside should look fairly clear. Little bit of residue isn't bad. Just make sure there's nothing blocking or obstructing the holes. Now that we've got them out, we'll give them a quick wipe. Just a bit of a rough clean. If there's too much paint buildup around the edges, the seat can be lifted, causing the pressure or allowing the pressure to seep out. Cleaning these can fix most of your priming issues or pressure issues. So if you're priming but not building pressure, sometimes it can be that that lower ball isn't seating correctly. That can be just because there's something coming through and it's just lifted slightly and the pressure's seeping out the bottom. But it sits like that in there. Give the inside a bit of a wipe, get around the thread a little bit. Just use a rag. I'm using Ultra Grimes. You can find them on our, on our website. This washer is just a bare basic hose washer. Just sits in there to create a seal between the bottom of the lower housing and the top of the suction tube. Just a warning, at the bottom of the inside of the lower housing is a tiny thin little o-ring. Be careful that it doesn't come out when you knock the ball and seat out. Without that, you cannot hold pressure. Make sure once it's all apart and clean, the way it goes back together, seat drops in, doesn't matter which way, up or down, they're both the same. Ball. It should rest right in the middle, cage. Just make sure that the ball's moving. When you shake it, hold your finger on the top. Ball moves, it's good. Now put it aside where you're not gonna drop it and knock it over. Again, same tools. Gonna tap the locking ring to the point where it spins and undo it with your hands. Lift your little G for Graco, pull out the pump, drop it down, and you've got again another locking ring. Undo that, twist and pull. And that's your pump. For the next step, you'll need a pair of multi grips. You're going to take the locking ring off the top of the pump. Once it's loose, spin it off with your hands. This is not only a locking nut, also an oil reservoir. So that's where you put all of your throat seal liquid or TSL. TSL is used to cool down the packings while that piston's stroking up and down to stop them from warping or to prevent them from warping, which could cause pressure loss. While we're pulling this apart, if your pump packings are a little bit warped from lack of TSL or just from age, you'll find some of this dry paint on the upper side of the shaft. It's the first indicator. You could also find dry paint residue inside that oil reservoir. Since I've got it apart, I'm just going to give it a bit of a clean, just stick a finger in, 
with a rag and just clean out some of that dry paint. Once it's clean, put it aside, don't lose it. Your next step, rubber mallet so you don't damage the top of the pin. And what you're going to do is hold it like that so you don't hurt your hand and just hit the top of that piston. First thing we're looking for is are the packings all in the right order and are they warped? They're not warped, so that's okay. Next thing we're looking for is, is there something obstructing this little ball? If you shake it up and down, can you hear it move? If so, it's good. Once you've checked all of that, hold it to the side, we'll move on to the next spot. Is we'll check this little O-ring here is one of the most important O-rings in the whole pump. This O-ring holds all the paint in as the pump starts to build pressure. If this O-ring is split, what you'll see is paint coming out of that join. So while we've got it off, just get a wet cloth and just give it a bit of a wipe over. Next step is you're just gonna check the upper packings, the top side of the pump. The one thing that you're really looking for is a warp packing down the bottom section of those packings. So as long as they're all fairly even, that means they're okay. Also, the color of them is a dead giveaway. You want them to be fairly blue and fairly black. These are the colors that you're looking for. As you can see, they're fairly blue and fairly black. There is a little bit of discoloration, but that's normal as the piston strokes up and down. What you're gonna do is just make sure that they're clean by sticking a wet rag and just twist it through until it pops out the other side and just pull it through and that'll just clean the inside of those packings a little bit. And then just a couple of house cleaning tricks. Just give these threads a bit of a wipe just to make it easier for everything to move. Once you've checked it all and all the fluid pathways are all clear and the packings are intact, all the O-rings are intact, that's when we can start to put it back together and test it. So your first step is you wanna put your locking nut on your reservoir back onto there. Just do it hand tight, not too much, just a little bit. Then up through the bottom, you want to put your piston and that's just knock it through. Once you get it flush, that's when you bring back your hammer and punch. Just going to put the punch on the inside of the piston and just knock it through. So you don't need to knock it all the way through, just enough that the pin sticks out the top. And you want to get your multi-grips again, and just very gently give it a tighten. until that O-ring's compressed. But not too compressed that it sticks out the sides, just enough that it's compressed. Then you wanna make the pump hole again. So you wanna put your lower housing onto your upper pump. Make sure that all of your seat, ball and cage are in there correctly. And spin it on. It'll get to a spot where it'll get hard, but it will keep going and it should look like that. If it doesn't line up, a couple of quick taps should fix the problem. Make sure it lines up. Once it's lined up, what you'll do is you pull it back out 
take this hose out, retract that locking nut, push it on, give it a bit of a couple of turns, and then hand tight. Now you've got that done, slide straight in, put the G down, and lock it off. Once you've got it locked off with your hands, that's where you get your pin punch and your hammer again. And just knock it tight. Then we're going to lean the unit back. And we're going to grab our suction tube. And it up in there and do up our locking nut. Like everything else, once you've got it hand tight, you'll grab your punch and your hammer and just knock it tight. Now that you're all done, what you're going to do is you're going to plug it back in and give it a test. I hope this was helpful. Let us know in the comments if there's any other video that you'd like us to make. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll catch you next week.